Hi everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I am taking a look at the Spigen Tough Armor case for the OnePlus 7 Pro. So as you know or don't know, I'm a big fan of Spigen and their Tough Armor series of cases. I've used uh, them in the past on multiple devices, most recently on the iPhone XS Max and the Galaxy Note 9, and I really do enjoy using the Spigen cases. Cost effective, they protect well. This one in particular has the little fold-out kickstand, which is one of the reasons I do like the Tough Armor series of cases because they combine protection with just functionality, right? Um, it's something I always like to do, especially on bigger phones, kind of prop it up and watch YouTube or whatever. It's nice to have a built-in stand so you don't always have to hold it in your hands or whatever. So. Yeah, so let's take a quick look at this and test the fitment on the OnePlus 7 Pro, and that's about it for the video. So if you've ever had Spig and stuff before, it comes in a just a simple box, kind of like pull the top open, and then the case is inside. Basically, it kind of gives you a little bit of information, how do you install it on your phone, kind of pull the top corners. Uh, it's a little bit of a rubbery case, so it's easy to kind of snap on and off. It talks about the kickstand, If you, what happens if you pop the kickstand off. Obviously, you can put it back on as long as you don't break the tabs. Well, that's it, but that's basically it. So all these Spigen Tough Armor cases look the same on the inside, kind of this pattern. Looks like kind of like a globe sort of pattern if you were looking at the latitude, longitude of, a, of the Earth. And that's about it, right? So there's a, the TPU, kind of softer, rubbery, I would almost say. And then there's like a harder plastic. And it's kind of like, a, it's not necessarily, I guess, a two-piece case, but uh, it, does, it does kind of pop apart a little bit. And yeah, so, you know, the volume up, down, your power button has the cutout for the, the little switch you can turn, the vibration mode sort of thing that's on the OnePlus 7 Pro. There's a little cutout there. And then there's a cutout on the top, obviously for the camera, pop-up front-facing camera, a hole for the microphone, same thing on the bottom. You have the speaker grill, microphone holes, and the USB-C, you know, the USB-C charger slot. And then you have the little kickstand on the back. And that really works really well. Like I said, if you haven't used the <laughs> uh, the Spig and Tough Armor cases before, it's a really good case. I really I really like them. And then obviously the cutout for the uh, the camera array and the LED flash. So here's the OnePlus Seven Pro, and really just easily snaps right in. Now typically these are pretty good with also, the um, if you have used a screen protector or something like that on the phone, this one I don't I don't have a glass screen protector on yet. It just has the uh, factory applied screen protector, and I can see that there's still a gap around the edges, and there's enough space for you know when I do apply the glass one. And you can see all the buttons kind of react correctly and all of that. You can access the little slider switch here. I don't know if you can see that and there so if we have um, the phone here so you can see you have the rear facing camera and then you do the switch and pops up front facing camera the only thing i did read about this case is that someone was saying that sometimes the reflection of this bottom piece interferes with the camera. I'll have to see about that or not if in actual use it does. I can't see here that it looks like, eh, or maybe it does. I can't really tell. So that's something I'll have to watch for on this case to see if that does indeed cause any problems. Um, I'm not sure if it does or not yet. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so basically, 
that's that. So if you press this again, it kind of goes back down. And that's what it looks like on this side. Now, I also have a dbrand skin for the back on order, which I will install also. Typically, I'll do that on all of my phones so that if I'm using it without a case, especially on the glass sort of phones, the glass back phones, I, you know, it's a little less slippery, adds a little protection to the glass from scratches and that sort of thing. So I'll be doing a review of that also when I get it in probably within the next week. So that was just a quick, quick look at the Spig and Tough Armor case for the OnePlus 7 Pro. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post those below. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.